Hey everybody, how you doing? Mr. Bookman here, and I will be reading The Three Little Pigs by James Marshall. Please enjoy. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, an old soul went, sent her three little pigs out into the world to seek their fortune. Now be sure to write, she said, and remember that I love you. The first little pig met a man with a load of straw. I know, said the little pig. I'll buy your straw and build a house. That's not a good idea, said the man. Mind your own business, thank you, said the little pig. And he bought the straw and set about to build a house. It took him no time at all. Very soon, a lean and hungry wolf happened by. Pig was just about the, about his favorite food in the world, so he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. To which the little pig replied, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. This annoyed the wolf to no end, and he said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Get right ahead, said the little Go right ahead, said the little pig. So the wolf huffed and puffed, and he blew the house in, and he gobbled up the little pig. The second little pig met a man with a load of brick sticks. I got it, said the little pig. I'll buy those sticks and build a house. I think twice about that, said the man. Oh, poo, said the little pig. That would... What would you know? He bought the sticks and went to work building a house. Very pretty, he said. No sooner had the little pig settled in his pretty house than the wolf happened by. He was still hungry, he, and he said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. To which the little pig replied, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf didn't care for that at all. And he said, I'll hop and I'll puff it. And I'll blow you, your house in. Ha, 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 said the little pig. So the wolf huffed and puffed, and he blew the house in. And he gobbled up the little pig. Now, the third little pig met a man with a load of bricks. Those bricks will make a fine, sturdy house, said the man. Capital idea, my good 
Bella, said the little pig. So, he bought the bricks and set about building a house. It took him quite a bit of time, but it was, it was well worth it. Nice and solid, said the little pig. Nice and solid. But no sooner had the little pig moved in, then he noticed the wolf ordering around. And the wolf, who was still hungry, said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. To which the little pig replied, No, no, no. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, the wolf had heard that before, and he said, Then I'll hop and I'll puff and I'll blow your, your house in. Oh, don't do that, said the little pig. But the wolf huffed and puffed. And he huffed and puffed until he, he was quite blue in the face. The house stood firm. I will try another approach, muddled the wolf. And he put on his dazzling smile. Little pig, I was only teasing, he said. By the way, I hear, all, I hear, tell that Farmer Jones has the most scrumptious turnips. Shall we go pick a few? Oh, I'm much too busy now, said the little pig. What about tomorrow morning? Excellent, said the wolf. I'll come back for you at six. Next morning, the little pig got up at five, hurried off to Farmer Jack's turnip field, picked a basket full of scrumptious turnips, and dashed back home. When the pig arrived at six, the turnips were already boiling in the fire. Sorry I couldn't wait, said the little pig. The wolf turned, tried not to show his displeasure. No harm done, he said. By the way, there is a lovely apple tree and maple, merry maple, I mean merry meadow. Shall we go help ourselves to a few apples? I must cook my turnips, said the little pig. Let's meet there t tomorrow morning. Splendid, said the wolf. Shall we say a five? <laughs> the next morning, the little pig was up at four and went off to the, for the apples. It took longer than he expected to reach Mary Meadow. And while busy gathering apples in the highest tree, he saw the wolf approaching. Don't try one of those, said he called down, throwing an apple as far as he could. When the wolf chased it after the apple, the little pig slithered down the tree and made it safely home. The next day, the wolf came again. Really, really. He was quite, quite put out. There's a fair today on Hog Hill, he said. Would you care to go? Why don't you meet, the, meet there, said the little pig. Would three o'clock suit you? Caucasian, said the wolf. Three it is. Just make sure he... He would be there at two. At the end of the afternoon, the little pig went to the fair and had a fine time. 
so fine that he lost track of the hour. Suddenly, out of the corner of his eyes, he saw the wolf coming up the hill. Without a minute to spare, the little pig jumped inside a empty butter germ and rode down the hill toward the wolf. Well, the wolf was so scared he ran off all the way home. <laughs> That evening, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him how frightened he would be then. Frightened you, I, did I? said the little pig. That's, that great round thing was a butter germ. germ. And I was inside. This is simply too much for the wolf to stand. I've been nice long enough, he cried. I'm going to eat you up right now. And he climbed into the, onto the roof. When the little pig saw this, he put a big iron pot in the fireplace and quickly struck the fire. Here I come, cried the wolf. Dinner time. <laughs> You could say that again, said the little pig, and he cooked the mean old wolf and gobbled him up. <laughs> well, instead of the wolf getting him, he got the wolf. <laughs> By the wolf coming down the chimney. Oh. Smart, smart little pig, huh? This is a classic, Beth, this was a classic story, I tell you. How many of you remember this classic story? Let me know with a thumbs up. Well, everybody, I hope all of you enjoyed this book reading here. And if you did, can you go thumbs up on it? Hit that thumbs up button. Can you do that? When you do that, it will bring people here to my channel. Also, if you're new and you came along this book reading, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that notification bell. Whenever I upload, you will be notified. But until my next book reading, they call me Mr. Bookman. And this book reading is over. Have a good one, everybody. Take care. And thanks for watching out there.